and uh, welcome back to our second session. So before we continue, I would like to ask Sognit. Sognit, I want you to read this one again. One update to give the more recent information about some or something on the web page to click to choose an item on the computer screen by pressing one of the buttons on a mouse. Three, log in. To enter your name and password to start using the website. Four, chat. We change mistake with someone on the internet. Five, upload. To copy or move a file from your computer and onto a website six link to connect one web page to another web page or to a file seven download to copy or move a file from a website onto a computer eight post to put the text or image on a web page that so that another other people can see it nine access to open a File on the web page to get or see information. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Sognit. Okay, now we can continue to the next one. So this exercise, they want you to match the number with the letter. So we have log in, we have click, link, chat, update, upload, access, download, and post. And we have A until I, right? We have A with your friends online, B, an image from a website, C, the messages icon, D, the internet using your mobile, E, your Twitter accounts to your homepage, F, your profile with new information, G, photos to your Facebook page, H, a comment on a website, I, to your email account. So now they want you to match number with this letter. Let me give you number one as an example. Let's do together, right? Number one, log in. Log in what? Log in. Match with letter. Hello, everyone. Can you help me? Hello. No answer. Log in with your friend online. Log in an image on the website or what? Some hook. Log in your Twi account. Log in your file with new information. What is it? What what do you might be letter number one with letter? So letter I. Letter I, okay. Log into your email account. Thank you very much. Log into your email account. Okay, so number two until number nine, I want you to do it by yourself. You have uh, five minutes. Okay, please do it slowly. Make sure you make uh, your, all your answers are correct, all right? And we check the answer at 9.19. Okay.
màu không chiên cái bài mà ăn ăn màu Đây, từ Uh, two more minutes. Uh, if you finish, you can wait a minute and um, I will just go and talk to one student. Uh, OK, uh, just wait for me if you finish. Okay, so now we can uh, check the answer together. Now number two, come on, number two. Hello, come on. No, come on, it's not available. Okay, how about uh, come on, come on, number two, please. Number two, uh, wait. Number two, C. Click the message icon. Okay, number two, C. Thank you very much. Number three, uh, three one. Wow, what happened now? Okay, I will call Linda. Number three, please. Link. Oh. What is it again? Link. D. D. The internet using your mobile. Are you sure? So number three is let yeah let E link your Twitter account to your home page. Okay. Um. Lai Hood, number four. A Okay, A. Chat with friends online. Number five, update. Come lie. B. Update. Not in image. Update. No. Number five, I think we'll let it have. 
update your profile with new information. Number six, the uh, model. No, the model is not available. So number six, what is it, everyone? Thank you. Data. Uh, number six with G. Okay, photos to your Facebook page. Numbers of when access. Ow. Why it takes so long time, everyone? Is it difficult? We let D right access the internet to single mobile. Number eight, download. B. B. And this one, number nine, is your homework. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> number nine. <laughs> we let the A, a comment on website. Okay, now I'm reading for you. Please watch it. I then I will ask one or two of you to read out and I want you to follow the my style of reading, okay? Number one, log in to your email account. Number two, click the messages icon. Number three, link uh, your Twitter account to your home page. Number four, chat with your friends online. Number five, update your profile with new information. Number six, upload the internet, upload, um, sorry, the upload photos to your Facebook page. Number seven, access the internet using more mobile. And number eight, download an image from a website. And the last one, post a comment on a website. Okay, so this one I would like to ask uh, Mr. Lighthood, can you read again, please? Yes, sir. Um, one, lock in the message, the messages icon. No, number one with I, lock into your email account. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, one log in to your email account. Number two, click the messages icon. Number three, link. Um, link, link your Twitter account to your homepage. Number four, chat with your friends online. Number five, update your profile with new information. Number six, upload. Upload a comment on a website. Number seven, access the internet using your mobile. Number eight, download an image from a website. Number nine, post photos to your Facebook page. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so uh, I need one more student to read. Some students got very poor internet connections. I don't know whether they can hear me now or not, but I will ask uh, one more student to read. Okay, I will ask Soknit. Soknit, can you read, please? Number one, upload uh, the image from a website. Oh, sorry. Number one, log in to your email account. Two, click a link your Twitter account to Twitter. your homepage. Oh, Twitter, Twitter account. Twitter, Twitter, not Twitter, okay, Twitter. Your Twitter account to your page. Five, upload your profile with new information. Six, um, upload a photo to your Facebook page. Seven, access the internet using your phone 
your mobile edge download um, an image from a website uh, nine post a uh, comment on a website okay thank you very much any question from this exercise everyone hello any questions no all right if you don't have let's go to the next one so the next one is the tips all right the tips for using social media okay uh, all right so i think i missed it let's go back to the first one all right using a social media safely so now let's reading this thing together uh with the internet cramps on the rice it never been more important to protect your personal information on the web here is some advice for using social media safely number one be careful what you post remember whatever you put online will probably still be available years from now only upload images that you are not embarrassed for anyone to see even a future employer number two protect private data be aware that criminals could use your personal details example your age address email address telephone number extra to steal your identity and your money number three choose your friends wisely it's great to have hundreds of friends on your account but remember that all these people can access your details do you normally tell these people that much about yourself number four be careful what you say if you post negative comment about someone watch out your post is now a written document that anyone can see in the public domain if you write something about another person that's not true they could take legal action and show you number five be careful about sharing files if you share or download copyrighted materials via a social media site beware you are breaking the law okay so right now i want some student to read first and then we can check some uh, difficult word together if you have let's start with sringi okay sringi can you read again yeah teacher using social media safely number one be careful what you post remember what ever you put online will probably still be at available uh, available year from now only upload image that you are not embarrassed for anyone to see even a future employer number okay. two protect private, private data a private data be aware what crimin criminal could use your personal that that tell a your age address email address telephone number agent to steal your i identity and your money number three choose your friend wisely i'm glad to have it's great to have a hundred of friends and your account but remember that all uh, all uh, these people can action your that tier do you normally tell these people that much about yourself mm -hmm. number four be careful what you say if you post 
negative comment about someone watch out your post it now a uh, right hand discount that anyone can see in the public damn domain damn domain domain is you write something about another people that not true they could take lecture lecture conscience and show you fine be careful about sharing feed fear wow. file if you share or uh, download copy written matter uh, material we write a social media set be real side be be beginning beware beware you are breaking the law oh, okay no. okay thank you very much all right uh, i need one more student to read read from the beginning from using social media safely uh, come help read again please using social media safely with internet crime on the rise, it never been more important to protect to protect your personal information on the web. Here is some advice for using social media safely. One, be careful what you post. Remember, whatever you put online will probably still still be available years from now. Only upload image that you are not embarrassed for anyone to see, even a future employer. Two, protect private data. Beware that criminal could use your personal detail, your age, address, email address, telephone number to steal your identity and your money. Three, choose your friend wisely. It's great to have hundreds of friends on your account, but remember that all these people can assess your detail. Do you normally tell these people that might about yourself? Well, be careful what you say. If you post negative comment about someone, watch out. Your post is now a written document that anyone can see in the public domain. If you write something about another person that's not true, they could take legal action and sue you. Fine. Be careful about sharing files. If you share or download copyright material via a social media site, beware you are breaking the law. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to read for you again. And this time, if you have, an, uh, I want you to listen along and underline uh, any word that you want me to translate for you. Okay, so let's listen carefully. Using social media safely, with internet crimes on the rise, it's never been more important to protect personal information on the web. Here is some advice for using social media safely. Number one, be careful what you post. Remember, whatever you put online will probably be available years from now. Only upload images that you are not embarrassed for anyone to see, even a future employer. Number two, protect private data. Be aware that criminals could use your personal details, example, your age, address, email address, telephone number, etc., to steal identity and your money. Number three, choose your friends wisely. It's great to have hundreds of friends on your account, but remember that all these people can access your details. Do you normally tell these people that much about yourself? Number four, be careful what you say. If you post negative comments about someone, watch out. Your post is now a written document that anyone can see in the public domains. If you write something about another person that's not true, they could take legal action and sue you. Number five, be careful about sharing files. If you share or download copyrighted materials via a social media site, beware you are breaking the law. Okay, any difficult word, everyone?
Hello. Okay. No difficult word. What was it in it? Uh, so it? Domain. Oh, okay, what domain. That? Public domain. Okay. Public domain. So public domain, like, um, you can say like Facebook or whatever, they are our public domains. So whatever you post there, people can see it. Whatever your like example, you post your picture and people can see, everyone can go and see your pictures. Unless you put only me or private. But who mostly people put on their profile, they put whatever like pictures, like uh, videos or anything else are all public. So I mean, people can see those things are called public domains. You get it or not? Yes, teacher. Yes. So whatever you put in public and people can see all in, I mean, everyone can assess and see your information that are called public domains. Any more difficult words you want to know, you want to ask? OK, I'm not just wasting uh, the time keep asking you whether you have difficult word or not. Then we go to the next one. Listen to an interview with a cat chef, a social media expert. Which of the advice does he mention? So you're going to listen to a conversation uh, of, about an uh, interview. And then there are three, uh, there are five pieces of advice here. Uh, be careful what you post. Number two, protect private data. Choose your friend wisely. Be careful what you say. Be careful about sharing files. So you listen to the tapes here and so call uh, the advice that she mentioned. She mentioned or you can say talk about. Okay, the advice that uh, she mentioned. So now let's listen and so call the answer. I will play only one time for you. Here we go. 1.2. Today we have Kat Schaefer on the show to give us some tips about how to use social media safely. Welcome to the show, Kat. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. So, Kat, everyone is on Facebook, Twitter and other social media sites nowadays. What's your advice for our listeners on how to use these media? Well, first of all, I'd say be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. A lot of people post any photo or video they think is funny onto the web without thinking about who might see it or when. Just remember that whatever you put online will probably still be available years from now. Do you really want a possible future employer to see you with your friends at 18 dressed in a policeman's uniform? <laughs> I know what you mean. I've got some really embarrassing photos from when I was younger that I'd hate anyone to see now. So what other advice do you have? Well, I'd say be careful about putting too much private information about yourself online. Identity theft is a common crime nowadays, so you need to be careful. Could you explain a bit more about what you mean by identity theft? Sure. Identity theft is when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details, like your name, address, email address, etc. Criminals may use your details to log into a website and then buy goods. In the worst case, they can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account. I see. You really don't want that to happen. Of course not. So that's why you need to make sure you don't post too much private information that a criminal might be able to use. I see. So, do you have one more tip for our listeners? Yes. My last tip is be careful what you say online. People often forget that the Internet is in the public domain. In terms of the law, it's not really any different to print media like a book or newspaper. You would be very careful about printing bad comments about someone. But people think that posting negative or untrue comments on the Internet is okay. They're wrong. If you say untrue comments about a person online, they can sue you. So watch out. Good to know. I'll be more careful what I post online in the future. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome. And happy networking. Okay, everyone. Which are the advice, Darcy Manson? 
Anyone can give me the answer, please? Hello. Some of you, I don't know why does the concession here got very low internet connection, poor internet connection. OK. Uh, thank you. Which are the advice? Does he mention in the conversation? Oh, thank you, also cannot hear me. How about Sukhnir? So we have five advice. We have five pieces of advice here. Number one, two, three, four, and five. So which ones does he mention? Number one, one be careful what you post. Okay, number one, be careful what you post. What else? Be careful what you say. Okay, number two, protect your. Uh, and number four, be careful what you say. So there are three uh, pieces of advice that she mentioned in her interview. Be careful what you post, protect your private data, and be careful what you say. All right, thank you very much. This one is very simple like that. Uh, and then we go to the next one. For this one, um, complete the sentences with this word. Listen again and check. So I give you one example as uh, one one uh, example. Number number one, be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. And the rest, we have the word post, identity, thief, login, online, and access. Now I want you to complete this word in number two, three, four, five, and six by yourself. And after that, you will we'll listen and check your answer. I think you can have around uh, four minutes to do it. So please uh, complete the sentences here by yourself. And we will check the answer at 9.47. OK, I will listen and check your answer together at 9.47. OK, please do it.
OK, everyone, so now let's check the answer together. Number two. Number two, uh, whatever you put, what is it? Online. Oh, somebody say online. Somebody say what else? Posting. OK, so we have online, we have posting here. We don't know which one is correct. OK, number three. Number three, Lock what in. is it? Log in. Do you have different answer, everyone? Hello? Identity theft. Identity theft. No, identity thief. Okay. Yes. I done thieved. Number four. Access. Number four, access. Number five. Identity. identity. Oh, identity safe here. Number six. Posting. Posting. Okay, posting. Okay, so now I'm going to play the tape for you and you can listen and check your answer. You can check the answer after you listen, right? Because some of you have two choice here, like number two, two choice. Number three, two choice. Here we go. Listen and check your answer. 1.2. Today we have Kat Schaefer on the show to give us some tips about how to use social media safely. Welcome to the show, Kat. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. So, Kat, everyone is on Facebook, Twitter and other social media sites nowadays. What's your advice for our listeners on how to use these media? Well, first of all, I'd say be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. A lot of people post any photo or video they think is funny onto the web without thinking about who might see it or when. Just remember that whatever you put online will probably still be available years from now. Do you really want a possible future employer to see you with your friends at 18 dressed in a policeman's uniform? I know what you mean. I've got some really embarrassing photos from when I was younger that I'd hate anyone to see now. So what other advice do you have? Well, I'd say be careful about putting too much private information about yourself online. Identity theft is a common crime nowadays, so you need to be careful. Could you explain a bit more about what you mean by identity theft? Sure. Identity theft is when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details, like your name, address, email address, etc. Criminals may use your details to log into a website and then buy goods. In the worst case, they can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account. I see. You really don't want that to happen. Of course not. So that's why you need to make sure you don't post too much private information that a criminal might be able to use. I see. So do you have one more tip for our listeners? Yes. My last tip is be careful what you say online. People often forget that the Internet is in the public domain. In terms of the law, it's not really any different to print media like a book or newspaper. You would be very careful about printing bad comments about someone. But people think that posting negative or untrue comments on the Internet is okay. They're wrong. If you say untrue comments about a person online, they can sue you. So watch out. Good to know. I'll be more careful what I post online in the future. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome. And happy networking. Okay, guys, now let's uh, check the answer again. Number two, whatever you put. Online. Yes, online, not posting, right? So whatever you put online, number two, what is it? Identify stuff. Identity, not identify. Identity safe. Okay. Identity safe. All right. How about number four? Criminal may use your detail to log in. 
log in right to log in okay number five they can access, access. yes they can access and the last one is posting you are right okay so i would like to read for you again be careful what you upload onto a social networking site Number two, whatever you put online will probably be available years from now. Number three, identity, identity, identity safe. It's when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details. Number four, criminal may use your detail to log into a website. Number five, they can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account steal the money and steal money directly from your bank account. Number six, people think that posting negative or untrue comment on internet is okay. Okay, like who read again, please. This is one, be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. Number two, whatever you put online will probably still be available years from now. Number three, Identity theft is when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details. Number four, criminal may use your details to log in to a website. Number five, they can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account. Number six, people think that posting negative or untrue comments on the internet is okay all right thank you very much any difficult word everyone uh translate one word for you because you never ask me i don't know uh, okay all right okay you can say all right so we can continue to the next one the same exercise uh this one oh we have number one number two three four and five so I will play the tape for you. You can listen and complete the blank spaces. They are not difficult. I just want you to practice listening again. But before you listen, uh, you have to make sure that you read number one and number five. So right now I'm reading for you and you can read along with me, all right, quietly. I say be careful what you upload on to site. Number two, I say be careful about putting too much about yourself online. Number three, sure, is when someone pretend to be you by using your personal details like your name, address, email address. Number four, the criminals can access your and steal money directly from your account. Number five, if you say about a person online, they can show you. Okay, so this one, the same like the previous exercise. So I will play the tape for you. You listen and write down the uh, answers. You can write into your notebook, all right? Here we go. 1.2. Today we have Kat Schaefer on the show to give us some tips about how to use social media safely. Uh, welcome to the show, Kat. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. So, Kat, everyone is on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media sites nowadays. What's your advice for our listeners on how to use these media? Well, first of all, I'd say be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. A lot of people post any photo or video they think is funny onto the web without thinking about who might see it or when. Just remember that whatever you put online will probably still be available years from now. Do you really want a possible future employer to see you with your friends at 18 Dressed in a policeman's uniform? I know what you mean. I've got some really embarrassing photos from when I was younger that I'd hate anyone to see now. So what other advice do you have? Well, I'd say be careful about putting too much private information about yourself online. Identity theft is a common crime nowadays, so you need to be careful. Could you explain a bit more about what you mean by identity theft? Sure. Identity theft is when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details, like your name, address, email address, etc. Criminals may use your details to log into a website and then buy goods. In the worst case, they can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account. I see. You really don't want that to happen. Of course not. 
So that's why you need to make sure you don't post too much private information that a criminal might be able to use. I see. So do you have one more tip for our listeners? Yes. My last tip is be careful what you say online. People often forget that the Internet is in the public domain. In terms of the law, it's not really any different to print media like a book or newspaper. You would be very careful about printing bad comments about someone. But people think that posting negative or untrue comments on the Internet is okay. They're wrong. If you say untrue comments about a person online, they can sue you. So watch out. Good to know. I'll be more careful what I post online in the future. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome. And happy networking. Okay, number one. Just give me the answer if you have. Number one, I say be careful what you upload. Social networking side. Yeah, social networking side. Number two, I say be careful about putting too much. Hello, too much. Private, private information. Okay, private information. Number three, sure. What is it? Identity theft. Identity theft, all right. Number four, criminal can access. Okay, why cannot? Your bank account. Bank account, number five, the last one, if you say. Untrue, untrue comment. Untrue comment. Okay, now, Sridhar, can you read number one to number five for your friend, please? For your friend. One, I said be careful what you upload onto a social networking site. Two, I would say be careful about putting too much private information about yourself online. Three, so identity theft is when someone pretends to be you by using your personal details, like your name, address, email address, etc. Four, the criminals can access your bank account and steal money directly from your account. Fine, if you say untrue comments about personal online, they can use, they can sue you. I'll show you. You know, show that. What does it mean? I translate for you. Okay. Um, come lie, read it again, please. Oh, Kim Lai is not available. Okay, Renmon, read again, please. Do I mute myself? No. Can you read? Oh, you don't see it. That's okay then. So I will ask Rengi to read again. Did. Listen again and complete the sentence. Number oh, one. Okay. I said, be careful what you upload into a social networking slot. Number two. I said, be careful about putting too much private information about yourself online. Number three. Sure, it then. Identity. Identity test is when someone pretend to to be you by using your personal detail like your name, address, email, address, extra. Number four, the criminal can access your bank account and steal money decently from your account. Number five, if you say untrue comment about a person online, they can sue you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, they can go to the next one. Sorry, okay. There we go. 
OK, now we. Uh, do you worry about security on the Internet? What do you protect your private information? What do you do to protect your private information? And number two, what private information don't or wouldn't you put on your profile? Why? OK, now let's look at my same poll answer. Uh, number one, yes, I do. I put all my information in private and I don't provide some of my important information. And number two, uh, I don't put too much. I don't put a lot of such as my personal presidential address, that of birth and extra because, for example, my dad of birth, I don't want anyone to know it and I don't want to get SMS from everyone of my Facebook friend. Now I give you example. I can go to my uh, Facebook again to show you. And I do you again. OK, so this is my Facebook profile. Now, if you go and see my. Um, my detail about so you go and see my detail. You can see here. The place where I started, for example, here I put here only me. So others, other people cannot see it. Where I, where I live last time, only me. And uh, my phone number, OK, everyone can see. And even uh, my whatever, where I live, where I'm from, me, only me. So people don't see it, right? OK, and so there's a lot of information that I just put. Uh, for my personal uh, note only, other people don't see it, only me. OK, and you see the place where I started, only me, only me. Only me, so you don't see these informations. Even it is on the public domains, but I put it in private, meaning to say that not everyone can see my informations. OK, because you know, sometimes they can use the information that you provide on your public domains, on your profiles, and they can hack your account. They can log into your account using you know, they are smart technology or whatever. Now, what about you? So I want you to answer question number one, number two here by yourself. I think you can ha have around five minutes. Now, if you don't have the answers, uh, you can follow mine, all right? But please try your best to answer the question. Uh, we will check the answer at 10, 11 together. OK, everyone, please. OK, now do it by yourself. If you have a question, you can ask.
OK, uh, thank you very much. Uh, now for question number one and number two, I would like to hear from Mr. Kumhok. Can you read the question and give the answer, please? What, what do you worry about security on the Internet? What do you do to protect your private information? What private information don't wouldn't you put on your profile? Why? I I worry about my security on the internet. Uh, I, I, I I don't post about my private the information on the internet. Okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, an important information about me on my profile because I don't want to uh, so to know too much about me. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Wow, it's noisy now. Uh, is it noisy? Can you hear any? I mean, noisy from my place or not? Hello, everyone. Yes, it can. Yes, but uh, we we can just study a few more. Uh, I think maybe a few more exercise. Let's see. Um, OK, I think we can. We will relax soon. I just want to check the answer from two or three more. All right, so let's stay on. Can you read the questions and uh, with the answer, please? Number one. What is an online professional profile use, useful for? Do you have? Yes, I do. I I put all my information in my in my profile account, but I, I but I don't want to other part to see it. I put only me the same you. <laughs> Number two, what information do you expect to find on an online profile? I put only my birthplace, um, school that I study, and uh, my workplace. That's all, too. All right, thank you very much. I think now it's very noisy and uh, you can relax now. And I'm going to send you the video. Uh, for those who have very poor internet connection, you can uh, rewatch uh, the video right, that I post on YouTube. And uh, and if you have questions, you can comment there or you can ask me directly on uh, our Telegram group. OK, guys, thank you very much for today. Good luck. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Yeah, bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Good luck. Goodbye, teacher. Yeah, good luck. Keep light. Bye bye. Bye hood. Bye bye. Dimol. Namoy. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Yeah, bye bye. Good luck. Light hood. See you. Dimol. Hello, light hood. Bye bye. Can you, can you, can you.